Hello and welcome back to Far Away. Are you guys ready? This is going to be a pearl, three stage pearl paint job. Let's begin. There you go guys, this is the car, this is a BMW, and it's gonna get a full respray inside and out. So I'm gonna take you step by step, show you how to do it. Let's just uh, dig into it. First of all, when I get a car, I look at the dents first. Let's see what's wrong with the car. This car, it's almost in perfect condition. Just the paint is uh, all burnt. The hood is a different color, the trunk is a different color, but I'm not worried about that. It's going to get a full respray. What I'm worried about right now, it's the dents. I already circled all the dents that this car has, which it's not a lot. They're more, mostly door dings, and I'm going to show you how to repair those. But this car, it's in perfect condition. So the first thing you got to do, look at the car look at the dents look at the amount of work that you're gonna have to do so let me take you around show you the amount of dents that this car has these are a couple and they're not even dents they're like little minor uh, taps but you can still notice them this is a door ding right there all this side is in perfect condition all this perfect condition the rear bumper is brand new the trunk there's one right there and there's another one right there the top, the top is perfect. This is another one that's got two right there and another door ding right there. And that's it. That is it. That is everything that this car has in regards to dents. So I'm going to tackle that first. That's your first step. Tackle the dents first before you start sanding because you are going to lose them if you start sanding. The way I'm going to be fixing these dents is with this. Some grip glaze this is catalyzed which needs hardener so it's like body filler but a lot smoother and a lot uh, thinner so because these dents are not too deep I don't need body filler I just need that in order to fix all these little dents so let me show you how I'm gonna sand it down and how I'm gonna uh, apply that I'm gonna take my DA with 220 grit sandpaper and I'm going to rough up the area on all these little uh, imperfections. Once all the little dents have been sanded, and you're going to say, where do you know it's where it's at? Well, it's right in the center of each sanded area. So, I know where it's at. That's all you got to do. Now, let's mix the, the glaze. Get yourself the small spreader and your glaze. Mix it up. Start applying it. And there you go. Just apply it the way you apply body filler real light real thin when there's when they're dense super super minor you don't need a lot I still need to do this side but there you go let me show you how to sand it let's begin to sand there's a real simple trick to get those areas those little small dents real flat and for the body filler just to stay in that area 
not all around not all that that I applied what do you use I'm gonna use this this is a block but it's velcro and you can apply install one of these DA sandpapers I'm gonna be using 220 for that let me install it on the block show you how I'm gonna sand it there you go this is how you install it let's start sanding now I'm gonna show you on this dent right here all I gotta do leave my block flat and I'm gonna go in a cross pattern motion I'm gonna go this way then this way until everything has been eliminated all the um, body filler that I don't need is eliminated the only thing that this block is gonna leave is the, the body filler where the dent is you'll see right now And after sanding for a bit in a cross pattern motion there it is that is where the dent is it's feathered perfect there was another one here that I didn't see perfect let's check it I'm gonna use some wax and grease remover there is a product called uh, quick check that I don't have right now but wax and grease removal will do the same thing As you can see, there's nothing. The dent has been uh, fixed. Let's just continue with the other ones. Now that all the door dings and little dents have been fixed, it's time to sand the car. How I'm gonna do it, let me show you. Again, this is a product that I'm using and this is for small dents. For little, very little door dings and small dents on your vehicle now because the car is in excellent condition regarding the paint it's just a little bit burnt but not to the extent that the clear is flaking off so i'm gonna get myself 320 in the da with the da and interface pad just go to town sand it down now if you have your car with a clear flaking i would go with a 220 start with 220 then progress to 320 and 400 because my this paint is pretty good I'm gonna start with 320 then 400 Right there I'm doing it with the interface pad and 320 grit sandpaper and all I'm doing is for it to be uh, dull that's it I'm taking the shine off of this paint so let me just continue sand the entire car and I'll bring you back all right it's gonna take a while for me to sand the entire car but you guys get the picture just gonna do that to the entire car I'm going around the area that I have a body filler because I still need to put primer on this but I want to sand the entire car before applying the primer and uh, this will be it this will be it for this video guys 
this is how to repair small door dings on your vehicle and uh this is the first video with this bmw thank you very much guys i appreciate every single one of you and hit that thumbs up hit that little bell icon so you can be notified whenever i upload a video also don't forget to subscribe also guys i really want to say thank you for helping out with my uh situation that i had i want to say thank you for from the bottom of our hearts and this will be it i'll see you this coming uh wednesday for another uh unboxing wednesday thank you very much like always god bless